All right, so let's get into it. Oh, some disclaimers first. Uh, one, of course, I am still getting used to being back in the groove of filming. Two, I know this desk behind me is an absolute mess. This desk doesn't even, it's not even supposed to be here. Uh, and it's just accumulated a bunch of stuff, including my eyeshadow basket. <laughs> so um, we're just gonna ignore that. My background is a mess. As always, my office is a mess. Um, but let's get into it. So, okay, I think that's better. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do for my eyes, but I do want to get started on my face. Um, I have a lot of breakouts. I need my mirror first off. Oh my God, I'm a mess. I'm an absolute mess. Okay. Um, I have a ton of redness on my face in acne. And so what I use to counteract that is the e.l.f. Uh, what is this? camo color corrector in green um i'm gonna my sides of my nose are really really red they're really and flaky they're just really dry and flaky right now i don't know what's going on so i'm actually gonna avoid putting product there because i don't want to irritate it i'm just gonna try to cover it up with a little bit of makeup but anywhere else i have some redness i'm going to apply this color corrector this i don't even know what this is i was in a zoom meeting today and i noticed it and i was like what the heck is that my skin is going through it right now I went to the dermatologist. My skin had been clear for like two months. I was so happy with it. I went to the dermatologist for my annual skin check. And so I didn't bring up my acne because it was doing fine. And then like two days later, it decided to explode on me. Um, love that. So I'm trying to treat my acne on my own right now because I literally was just at the dermatologist. But I'm going to blend this green tint out. It, it, it does blend out quite sheer. But I find it does help overall. But um, anyway, <laughs> I feel like I have so much to talk about. I've been primarily absent from YouTube this year. And I said I'm back and I already failed uh, two weekends in a row to get videos back up. But I'm doing it now. I actually, today is two, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving in the States. Um, and so... Uh, I have some time off, so I'm very excited about that. I'm hoping to pre-film a bunch, so I'm like just ahead of schedule, and I am hopefully going to be back on track going forward. Um, I am using the Makeup by Mario concealer. I have the lightest shade in 120, and I'm going to apply that wherever I have acne, and I'm going to just let it sit there for a hot sec. Is that dryness? No. Okay. It's been quite a year. Um, there's been ups. There's been downs. Um, I have this zit also that's popped over right here. I didn't put any of the um, green on it, but I'll just cover it up. There have been ups and downs. It really all started going downhill the night of March 31st, going into April 1st. The worst April Fool's joke of my life, which was my basement flooding. I think I mentioned this. I did a, like a little mini where have I been I think in my last battleship project pan um update this is the about face eye primer um so my basement flooded which was not fun and I mean it could have been worse like our basement is just like really a storage area and where our laundry is um luckily we didn't have too much ruined it was just more like repairing like we don't have like a ton of drywall down there so it was really just repairing a few spots um and getting the carpet out which i don't know why the previous owners of our house put carpet in the basement i would never do that because we live in michigan and it's basically guaranteed at some point you're gonna have water in your basement um i am going to be using for my eyes this is a byop i made it's kind of i was going for a good sport by ColourPop, but like better um and so i'm going to use the green down here this is from lethal cosmetics it's in the shade syncope and i'm going to use it really lightly as a transition shade and then i'll use it at its full opacity um in like the outer v that's the plan um, so yeah, our basement flooded and, you know, that sucked. And as we were finishing up, um, you know, fixing it, we were working with like a, you know, like a water restoration company, mitigation company. Um, the last thing we were doing, so instead of 
replacing the carpet, we decided to paint the floors. Uh, we got COVID for the first time, which don't recommend, not fun. Um, it was rough and I was like, it took me a while to recover. Like just like, just like I had this lingering cough and I was just like exhausted. And I know so many people had it so much worse than I did obviously. But that was really, really rough. Um, that delayed getting our floors done because like we just did not have the energy. Like the people who were doing our floors were like, we don't care. Like we'll come, like we're just gonna be in the basement. We're gonna have to wear like a respirator anyway. Uh, but I, we just had no energy to move our things <laughs> that were in the basement. Um, so that was not fun. And then our AC unit died, which we were hoping it would last longer than it did. It, we knew it was old. We were hoping it would hang on. And we could have tried to just like fix it and put a band-aid on it. But it was like, I think it was 20 or 21 years old. So we just figured it probably wasn't going to work. So we had to get a new AC unit. And just like, we've had a couple deaths in the family. And just like... Uh, health challenges with varying family members it's just been it's been a tough year it's been it's not been easy that's for sure it's been difficult and so that made it just really hard for me to prioritize videos for me to find the free time it just seemed like you know usually I would film on the weekends and it just felt like I just had no time to get anything done like not just like what I wanted to do but things I have to do like take care of my house so it's been a challenging year I'm you know there have been highs and lows there have been good points and bad points but um it's getting better especially this latter half of the year um so yeah that's kind of a mini recap of where I've been okay so I have kind of like my initial I think I'm just gonna actually do that I might deepen it out in the overview a little bit more but I want to blend out lightly this concealer, just lightly. And the reason why I didn't do it immediately is I find that when I do it this way, the concealer stays more pigmented to cover the acne better. And I have just found that's what's been working for me. So I'm just gonna do that. But let's see, what else can I update you on? Dogs are doing good. Poppy does have to have another surgery, which I am not happy about, but it is what it is. So uh, we adopted Poppy almost a year ago. She is our second beagle, if you are new. Uh, we have two beagles. And um, when we adopted her, she had a hernia. And the shelter told us that they would pay for the hernia surgery with their vet. So we took her to their vet to get her spayed and her hernia repaired. And it turns out that they never fully fixed it. Um, it. Turns out she had a bilateral hernia and they only fixed one side. Um, why the vet didn't catch it uh, when we brought her to her you know, follow-up appointment, I do not know. Why did our old vet, not the shelter vet, but our old vet we went to, why did they not catch it? I do not know. We started going to a new vet. Um, I took Poppy to her first appointment was it a week ago. I think it was a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. And I was like, hey, you know, she had a hernia surgery and I've noticed, you know, I brought it up to previous vets, but she still is a little bit lumpy down there. Um, and yeah, turns out that she was not, it was not fully fixed. And I felt guilty for a while because like I knew something was there, but all the vets told us was that she was fine and so <laughs> that's just a little bit frustrating but you know what it is what it is the vet before I had brought that up already suggested that Poppy should have a dental cleaning which when you take your dog to the vet to do a dental cleaning they do go under anesthesia and so the the vet said we could just tack it on to that procedure um and luckily the estimate was not that at all it's actually 
less than what we paid for Scooter's dental uh, dental cleaning and extraction. He had multiple teeth extracted. It's actually less than what we paid in 2021 with our very first vet who we like, but we just moved. Oh, not, we didn't just move, we had moved, so we, we weren't going there anymore. Um, so I was good with the price. Um, and we're gonna do it after the holidays in January just because it's not an emergency right now. Um, so we figured we may as well wait until uh, after the holidays. Um, so I am, ugh. it's just hard when your babies don't feel good and I know she's not gonna feel good after surgery. So, um, but that's, I guess that's the update on the dogs. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this brush that clearly has yellow. I story of my life, every girl or get ready with me. I think I've said I need to clean my brushes, but I really do need to clean my brushes. But I've been using this palette a lot lately. I'm gonna take this yellow over here, which I can see what color it actually is. Yeah, Butternut from Dandelions. And I'm gonna take that very, very lightly. I'm even gonna tap it off and I'm just gonna blend it out on the edge. I just wanna bring just the smallest hint of yellow. It might not even pick up on camera. But I just want a little bit of something something there. Otherwise, I feel like it's been a good year. Um, I feel like I've met a lot of my goals. Like, I'm someone who likes to set yearly goals at the new year. I like to pick a word of the year. And I don't think I've quite met my word of the year this year. My word of the year was thrive. I don't know that I was thriving this year. But one of my goals was to just branch out into some new hobbies, and I definitely did that. Um, while I talk about that, I am going to go into this Cleona shade that I have down here. I believe this is Iron Gate. This is one of my favorites. Yeah, it's one of the Earth Vibrants. I use it all of the time. It's one of my favorite um, Cleona shadows right now. Um, and I'm going to apply it to my eye since I find a brush I can use. Um, <laughs> one of my first things that I wanted to look, like one of my new hobbies I wanted to learn how to do was knit. And I guess I kind of did that. I wouldn't say I fully accomplished that because I only know how to do the basic knit stitch. Knit stitch. I started that on January 1st. I was like, I, I went to Joan Fabrics on January 1st and I bought some yarn and knitting needles. And um, I was like, I'm going to do this thing. And I started January 1st and I finished one scarf on November 19th. <laughs> so it's definitely something I tackled on and off. Uh, it wasn't something I really touched in the summer. I kind of did it on and off in the, in the um, like spring and the fall time, <laughs> what I've been doing right now. And um, I really like it. I really like it for... When I'm watching like TV, um, I like it because when I'm watching TV or a movie, I tend to grab my phone and just like scroll through my phone and just like listen to what's on the TV. And so, but what I found with knitting is it gives me something to do with my hands, but for the most part, I can focus what's on the TV. So that's something I really would like to get more into next year. I want to learn how to do the purl stitch and the I can take the knit stitch and the purl stitch and learn other stitches like ribbing or the stockinette stitch I believe it's called so I'm excited I really want to I'll probably do another scarf before I move on to anything else but I kind of have a list of different things I want to do in 2024 I want to learn how to make a beanie I want to try socks um and then eventually I would I don't know if I'll get to it in 2024 but I would like to learn how to do a sweater um, or a cardigan, just because I really like wearing sweaters and cardigans. Um, and I think it would be cool to learn how to knit that. So that's kind of on my goal for the year. Um, I, I tossed, I tossed around the idea of doing a temperature blanket, but I feel like that requires so much work. Like you're knitting, it's basically where you make a blanket and you knit the color based on the, the average temperature for the day or the high temperature of the day. Um, and so that would require me doing, you know, 365 rows of a blanket length. And I just felt like if I was going to do that, that would really be my only knitting project for the year. And so I think I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to um, just try my hand at a bunch of different projects. 
that was like my first new hobby of the year. Um, now that I've got the majority of my eyes done, I am going to move on to my face. So I'm going to move on to my base. I'm just going to run through the products I'm going to use. So the foundation I have been primarily using this year is actually the Makeup by Mario. And this is my second bottle. This is my first one. It, I basically need to find my scraper tool so I can scrape the bottom out. But this is my second bottle. But... I think I want to go for something a little bit more lightweight and I have not touched this much at all this year. This is my Nabla Skin Realist uh, Tinted Balm and I think this might just work around where my skin is really dry. I remember I really like taking this and here it is, the Auric Glow Lust and mixing them together. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I am going to, under my eyes, I'm going to use the Colfi Concealer uh, and I have the shade Bad Bedam. Um, and so I'm going to use that under my eyes and we'll go from there. So yeah, so knitting was my first kind of thing. Um, I also started out, um, uh, baking a lot. I, I would say I stopped kind of baking, uh, in the summer, mostly because I also got super into gardening. I mean, I kind of did gardening last year, but... Uh, not to the scale like this year I started seeds indoors and I like nurtured these seeds into like plants and it was probably my favorite thing I've done this year like, hobby wise is like learn really how to garden from seed uh, grow my own produce I mean there were some weeks I mean we have a small backyard so I'm not growing like a ton but I have three raised beds and like a bunch of pots and you know there were weeks where I didn't need to buy fresh fruit and vegetables from the grocery store because I had it growing in my backyard and it was probably like one of the most empowering things I've ever done for myself and also just like I had a lot of fun like it was just really fun I have so many um Roma tomatoes in my freezer that I'm going to turn into marinara sauce and I'm really excited about it the, I had such great success with tomatoes and eggplant, surprisingly. I make this pizza that my grandpa's wife um, randomly made one day, which is basically you take pizza crust and sauce and then you top it with fried eggplant. It is so good. I also had great success with peppers, which I really wasn't expecting. I was expecting to have a harder time with, um, with peppers. Um, and I had a rough start with my tomatoes. Uh, growing them inside but my peppers just were incredible this year um so I had like a lot of fun with that um, I raised monarch butterflies and swallowtail butterflies uh, there were so many swallowtail butterflies on my Dylan parsley that I just I I witnessed a wasp um, eat a caterpillar and I immediately went and bought a uh, butterfly cage and basically started raising my butterflies and then finally finally I got some monarchs and I raised those and it was such a cool experience I definitely love my garden and like butterfly keeping um hobby this year um but kind of back to where I started uh, I was also baking a lot um which I have really enjoyed and I want to get back into I was baking bread about once a week then I just stopped and I would really like to get back into it because I genuinely enjoyed it. And I just want to try new techniques and just different types of breads. Um, I found the best cheesecake recipe, the New York style cheesecake from King Arthur Bakery or King Arthur Bread. Um, fantastic recipe. Um, it is now highly requested for um, pretty much every holiday and birthday. Um, I am... <laughs> I am making my cheesecake. I am going to be making it for Thanksgiving actually and I'm also going to be attempting pie for the first time. I guess I technically attempted it before. Um, I made hand pies but they didn't come out very good so I'm going to attempt pie again in like an actual um, like pie dish and I am excited about it. I think Hopefully. I'm making the cheesecake because I'm afraid the pie won't come out good. <laughs> so that's actually something I want to focus on again next year. I think I'm going to have a goal to uh, bake one new thing a month. Um, I'm going to switch brushes because this is just giving me streaks. Um, just because I like it and I, I will want to meet that goal. <laughs> so um, that's been another hobby. 
And then probably my most successful new hobby, which isn't necessarily new, but more something I'm getting back into, is I've been reading more, which um, I kind of started getting into it at the end of last year, and I asked for a Kindle for Christmas, and I got one. And I've basically been exclusively reading Kindle Unlimited romance novels. Um, so if you have any recommendations for, I mean, they don't have to be Kindle Unlimited, but just like um, good, I, I like to call them rom-com books. Let me know. My favorite book series, rom-com book series I've read have been the Love Light Farms series by B.K. Borison. Um, the, I think it's called the Honeywood um, series by Julie Olivia. Unfortunately, I did not like the debut book in her new series, but I will probably try the second one. I think I just didn't like the tropes in this one. Um, what else? Um, some other books I've really enjoyed are um, Out on a Limb by I think it's Hannah Bonham Young. Um, let me pull up Goodreads. Let's see. Oh, I just finished reading the Off Campus series by Elle Kennedy. I loved this. I also read um, the first book in the Campus Diaries. And I think she has another one that's a spinoff of the Off Campus series, which was like her original series. And then the uh, Campus Diaries is like her second spinoff, but I haven't read the first spinoff. Um, I really love this. I have learned I really enjoy hockey romances. Um, next up, okay, I think I have patted my face enough with my foundation brush. Uh, I think it's looking good. I'm going to use that concealer under my eyes as well as uh, a, few, a few areas of blemishes that are still poking through. Um, I found I really enjoy a good hockey romance and I felt like Elle Kennedy, what I liked about her book, books are when they're not predictable and like I feel like because I typically am reading these books on Kindle Unlimited I can tell when I get to a certain percentage of a book what's going to happen and when the couple's going to get together or when are they going to have like the maybe not a third act breakup but like a disagreement and I found that her books kept me on my toes and I felt like more than other Kindle Unlimited romance books that um you really saw the relationship between the two really like develop um and you can see like why they fell in love with each other or they're just like more complex characters and you can kind of see why they're they're falling in love with each other um and so i really really enjoyed that series um let's see what else have i read uh, I, oh my god, Icebreaker. I actually technically read this last year, but I just reread it a few weeks ago by Hannah Grace, as well as her second book, um, Wildfire. So, so good. Um, I read the Chestnut, Sp Chestnut Springs series by Elsie Silver. Didn't know I would be interested in cowboy romances, but here I am. Um, some standalones, or so far they're standalones, Promise Me by Carly Jean I liked. Home Run Proposal by Marin Moore, um, Collide by Bal Cabra, um, Between the Lines by Brandy Pelletier, 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 I'm not sure. I really like this, I think it was her debut novel, and I really, really liked that one. Um, the Fall of Bradley Reed, I only read this, it's actually the third book in a series, but I really liked it, it was about... Um, it was about this girl who had just broken up with her fiance. Actually, I think it occurred before the wedding. And it's about her falling in love with the FBI agent who was investigating her ex-fiance. That one was fun. Uh, Give Me Butterflies by Jillian Meadows I really liked. Um, what else? I think those are the big ones I want to call out. Uh, specifically from the Honeywood series that I think I already mentioned, Our Ride to For Forever is my favorite. Um, I read the Beyond the Play series by Grace Riley. That's like a sports romance series. Um, I think that's it. Um, the other ones were just okay or maybe not the standouts, but those are some of the books that I like. So if you have any recommendations, 
Uh, if you have also read those books and have recommendations, I would love to hear. My favorite tropes are fake dating and marriage of convenience. Uh, this is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener, and I'm just going to put it in the inner corner area. But I've been reading a ton. I have surpassed my goal. I think my goal was 20 books. Um, I think I'm at like 30 some. So uh, flew past that goal. Been loving reading. I just learned I really like fluffy romances this year. And I have no shame in that. So I don't really like anything that's like mafia romance or like I don't really like the billionaire romances or millionaire romance books where like the the guy is like a millionaire i do like a good sports romance never expected that but i do something i've been doing late lately is studying my face doing my setting spray and then going in with my cheek products so this is the pat mcgrath um under eye setting powder as you can tell i am a fan and I actually use this to uh, set under my eyes as well as kind of like the center of my face. So if I could find the brush I want to use. What else? What else? Oh my gosh. I wouldn't necessarily call this a hobby. But one unexpected new interest I have is apparently I enjoy watching um, football, American football games. I came from a soccer family or I guess, you know, what most of the world calls football. Um, and if you don't know, I'm from Michigan, and if you don't know, uh, our football team is the Detroit Lions, and the Detroit Lions, for once, are doing amazing. We are second in the league. My boyfriend started getting back into football, which meant I started watching along with him, and now I'm interested. I finally understand the rules of football. Um, I think I'm going to just gently tap the rest of my face. I finally understand the rules. I'm into it. I get what's going on most of the time, some of the time. Uh, and jumping on the lines bandwagon. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I actually don't like this. I only bought it because Ulta, I went in store and they were out of the Milani setting spray. So I got this one. I don't like how fine it is. But yes, I am jumping on the lines bandwagon. If you are not from the US or maybe not into football, I don't remember how long ago it was. Maybe it was like 10 years ago, give or take a few years. The Detroit Lions lost every single game of the season. Um, <coughs> all 16 games. I don't know where it cut me off. But previously the Lions sucked. Now apparently they're good. Um... My boyfriend has explained to me they're probably not going to make the playoffs because I guess the the league is divided into two halves and the Lions are part of the same league as the Eagles. I don't know if that's the right terminology and the Eagles are currently the top. But stranger things have happened. So I don't know, but apparently I'm into football. Who knew? I'm trying to decide if I want eyeliner and I don't know, so I'm going to move on to my face. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? I think for bronzer, I'm going to use what I've basically been using all year long, my Nabla one. I think for blush, I'm going to do uh, another one I've been using pretty much all year long, Sorrento from ColourPop. And then for highlight, what I've also been doing a lot this year, actually using Aura Glow Lust um, as a highlight. So I am going to do that. I feel like I have now run out of things to talk about. <laughs> um, that's been my year in a nutshell. And yeah, I just, I miss being on YouTube and I miss, I just need to figure out how to prioritize it. Slash, um, I need to just like film more at night. Um, typically I film on the weekends, but I feel like I need to just prioritize filming at this time of day. It's actually 4.45 p.m. Uh, it's dark out already. I busted out my ring light, which I think could be on a better setting, but I'm doing my best. Um, so I think I just need to prioritize that. Um, today, like I said, it's Tuesday and we got off of work early. I am excited because I'm going out to dinner, which I feel like me and JV never do. And that's mostly because we're working 
on our dog's separation anxiety, which we finally got into a place where we can leave them for the most part. Um, but then again, we just never actually go out to eat. Um, but JD's old roommate is in, he is in the Navy and um, he is home for the week or a few days. I'm not really sure. Um, so we're going to go meet his girlfriend for the first time and just catch up with him. I'm very excited. We're getting sushi. I love sushi, even though I guess I don't eat traditional sushi because I only eat the vegetarian rolls, but I love a good vegetarian roll. So I am excited. Yeah, I feel like my lighting, I need to, I need to work on the right settings for lighting, I think. And then I will be able to film a lot better at nighttime. What I've been doing for my Aura Glow Lust, I will put a little dot on a brush and then I will dot that on my cheeks where I want it. And then I will blend it out with my finger. And I just really like the way that this has been blending out and looking on my skin. I feel like it applies just fine over um, my powders. Um, I've never really had a problem with products lifting powder, like liquid products going on top of powder and then lifting it. Um, but I am trying to focus on this product just because it is getting older and I do genuinely love it. I typically mix this in with my foundation every day. Um, don't know how much I have left of, of this, but it's going to be getting there. Um, and I did all that and I still don't know if I want to wear eyeliner. Um, I think what I might do, I might just do a little bit of darker green. I'm going to take that shade I initially used and I'm going to see if I can just darken it like right here. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I feel like it's doing what I want in person. Um, let's see what else can I talk about? I mean, Black Friday season is here. It's basically started November 1st for some brands. Uh, so far, I have only bought um, some Korean sunscreens, which I'm very excited about. I bought, I think I bought four or five, which is like way too many. Many, but I was making the order from Yes Dial. I was like, I may as well. What ones did I get? I basically got like the top recommendations from Sarah Rose's sunscreen recommendation video. I got the Purito Daily Soft Touch, the Beauty of Josen Relief Sun. The um, Skin 1004 Madagascar, oh that's actually a uh, moisturizer, but I also got the Ma Ma Madagascar Centella Hyalur Hyal Hyalasica Water Fit Sun Serum and the I Unique Centella Calming Daily Sunscreen, along with that Skin 1004 Centella Soothing Cream and the Beauty of Josen uh, Revive Eye Serum. So very excited, that was my first I think Black Friday purchase. Um, I am planning on a few more. I'm definitely pick going to be picking up from Davina. Maybe Lethal Cosmetics. They've, they're they're revealing their palette tomorrow as I'm filming this. Their release. They typically have a pretty awesome uh, Black Friday release with some new products. I don't know if they're going to do this, but I think they would make like a really awesome mascara. And I can't explain why. I just think they would come out with a really good mascara. And I would love for Lethal to come out with a mascara. Um, I still need to buy, I know the sale's going on, but I haven't yet, uh, the JVN hair. I love the air dry cream, and so I need to pick up some tubes that'll last me the year. And then I think that is it for Black Friday. I've been considering Hollow Taco as well, but I'm going to see what happens after Davina's Black Friday sale. Um, what am I doing now? Um, so let me know if you're doing anything, what you're picking up this Black Friday, or if you're not picking up anything, because you don't have to just because things are on sale. Um, I like to pick up my hair stuff from JVN and Davina and Lethal. I feel like those are kind of my staples over the years. Although I guess last year was the first time I purchased from JVN, but... Anyway, I'm just like mumbling mumbo jumbo at this point. This is a clear brow gel from a brand I do not support, so I'm not gonna 
share. <laughs> I'm just using this mascara sample I happen to have, or brow gel I happen to have. If you guys have any recommendations for a nice brow gel that has a nice tint to it, that also has options for red hair, let me know. Because what I like about this one is that it has hold for my brow hairs, but I do like a tint. And I, for the majority of the year, I was using the Redhead Revolution brow gel. It's a brand that caters to people with red hair. I really only find them helpful for brow gel because I like a black mascara. I don't need like a gingery mascara. Um, and then everything else is like I wear what I want to wear. <laughs> um, but I really liked it because I was able to pick a red tinted brow gel. Typically I will go for brown if they don't offer like an auburn option because I do have a darker brows but I do like them to have a red tint to them. So if you have any recommendations for a tinted brow gel with hold, let me know. What else do I need to do? I guess that's mm, my inner corner. What do I want to do on my inner corner? I think I am going to take this shade in my Good Sport But Better palette. I want to say it's Embellishment from Cleona. Let's see. Yes, Embellishment. I'm going to take that and lightly put it on my inner corner. It's not technically an iridescent shade, but with a light hand, it works on the inner corner for me. And just like that. I don't even think it's picking up on camera, but I'm going to take Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in Moss Boss and put that on my waterline. You probably won't be able to see me do this. Okay, so now all I have to do is mascara, which I'm going to do. I am just going to use this Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara Sample. Um, but I think the last thing I want to chat about is just if you have any video recommendations or I guess video ideas like things you'd want to see from me, let me know and I can film them. Um, I am planning, I know what I'm planning on doing for sure is I want to film a, I've been like absent from YouTube, here's what I bought this year, kind of like a collective haul. Because um, I feel like it might be interesting. Um, I feel like I definitely haven't bought as much as I have in previous years. I did put a list together and it's definitely more than I thought in my head, but nowhere near what I bought in years past. Um, and then I will do, um, what else? I think I'm not gonna do any more Project Pants for the rest of the year, but I will restart in January. I think the only one I have going on is my Level Up. And I'm just going to film an update once I meet the goal for level one, just because I don't have anything interesting to say until I hit pan in a shade, <laughs> which I guess I technically did one of the shades in there. I hit pan as I was swatching it for the video. Um, so I'm not counting that one. So I'm working away at hitting pan. Um, I guess that's your update <laughs> is I've used all the shades once. I just need to hit pan in a shade, which I'm working on. This mascara sample is quite dry, but the other mascara I have open, I don't wanna deal with. It's such a pain to get off at night, and I'm gonna probably be tired by the time I come home. So, um, I don't wanna deal with it tonight. <laughs> so I'm going with this one. Um, but, oh my gosh, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but just like, how freaking pretty this Cleona shadow is. I love this one. I've been using it so much this year. One of my favorite shades. I kind of want to do, I don't know, I've been, I've been toying around the idea of, I want to do like a top 10 indie singles video again. And I also want to do like a top 10 like Davina and Cleona specific video. So let me know if you'd be interested in that as well. I really want to do it. I've only done it once. I think I did it in 2021. I didn't do it in 2022 or 2023. But I want to do an indie week again because you guys know, aside from planning, I love doing indie makeup content and I love indie makeup. So um, I really want to find the time to be able to do that. Maybe I will have time on my few days off. Obviously, one of those days is going to be a day of travel, going to different family Thanksgiving events. Um, but I have tomorrow off, which I'm going to do some shopping. Um... I have to get like, oh, 
have to go to the grocery store, which going to the grocery store before a holiday is the worst. Um, but I will have time tomorrow and Friday and then I think the weekend as well. I don't think we have anything planned. We just need to do some yard work stuff and probably hanging our Christmas lights. So yeah, I don't know. I want to do an indie week eventually. Maybe, maybe I will have time to film over Christmas break because my work gives us a few days off before Christmas through New Year's. So maybe I will have time to finally do an indie week. If there's any indie specific content as well you'd like to see, let me know down below. Um, all we have left to do is lips and I'm going to wear my Lisa Eldridge sorcery, uh, lip gloss, which is in my purse. And I don't want to get up and get it because it will disturb my dogs and they will start tippy tapping while I'm trying to finish my video. So in the meantime, actually, I'm going to wear another shade that's in my purse. I bought the minis. Where is it? I bought the Nika by Mario Moish Moisture Glow On The Go lip serums. It came with two. One of the shades I already have that I keep in my purse. So my plan is to move this to my purse and the large one by my desk. So I will use this. This is in the shade Bronze Glow. I got this in a Sephora favorite kit uh, earlier this year. And I absolutely love this product. Okay. That, that completes the look. Sometimes I just feel like the look is not complete until a lip product is on. But this is the finished look. My hair is doing something. It's a little bit frizzy because it's been raining today and but overall, I'm happy. I like how the look turned out. This feels like a very me look. The eyeshadow, the shimmer, love it. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, once again, let me know if you have any videos you'd like to see from me down below. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!